He's swiping them away. He said he shall give his angels charge over you. And even if you trip and stumble, for some reason he's going to catch you. Why? Because you have made the Lord God your fortress. You have made him the place where you hide out. See, if you're, he's not your place to hide out, you got to catch yourself. Thank you, Lord. you got to catch yourself. And that's why people are walking around so wounded. Because they done stumbled and fell so many times. And they're all scuffed up. And they all beat up because every time they stumbled, there was nobody there to catch them because it wasn't the Lord that they were running to. They were running to their own secret place. And in their own secret place, they got to provide the protection. they got to provide the healing and the deliverance. And you don't have it in you. Because if you had it in you, Jesus would not have had to die. If you could do it yourself, he would not have had to get off his throne in glory and come down here where we're at and get down on his on. knees and say, I'm going to help these people. See, if you could do it yourself, come on. There'd be no need for the oh, secret of the Lord God. Oh, There'd be no need for it. There'd be no need for it. But because you can't do it yourself, he said, I'm going to come down there. I'm going to stoop down to where you at. And I, I'm not going to stoop down and just look down on you. But I'm going to reach my hand down and pick you up. So I ought to thank God that he was willing to pick you up. Because there's some people in your life that just look down on you. They just look down and say, that's a shame. Oh, man, your life is jacked up. Oh, you're going through some problems. But when he looked down on you, he said, come on and get up from there. Come on and get up from there. Come on and be healed. Pick up your head and walk. Open your eyes and see. Stretch out your arm and be healed. Because in the secret place of the Most High, it is God who's in control. In your secret place, you got to control that. you got to figure out how things are going to work out. But when you're abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, you walk in with protection. you got Big Brother right behind you, and he's clearing the path. This stuff that won't mess with you with Big Brother on your side. Come on, y'all. The secret place. Of the most high. Oh Hallelujah. my God. Oh my God. Well, you know what? This message has been brewing inside of me for about three or four weeks. And I kept asking God, when do you want me to give it? You know, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because there's somebody in this room that God wanted me to come here for. I don't even know who it is. I don't, I don't know who it was. But God set this, this message aside for you. He set it aside for you. Turn around and tell your neighbor, God, save this message for you. He saved this for you. He said, I had four or five other messages that I wanted to give. But God said, no, wait. I want you to give, give this. I ain't even didn't know what service to give it in. I, I didn't know when to give But God said, this is this is for you. Turn around and tell somebody, this is for you. Hallelujah. 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 Just lift your hands and all over the room. I'm getting ready to close. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. And say to the Lord, I will claim you as my refuge.